Welcome to the table. If you want not just unboxings, but to actually learn something about the most iconic and rare cards, whack that subscribe and like button below and welcome to the familia. If not, I'm glad to hear with us, Timmy, while you're still here with us, Timmy. Now, today we're going to be unboxing the first Slifer God card ever made that I recently imported from Japan. We'll check out the condition. Hope we didn't get I'll give you the story behind the card. I'll take you through the following nine English and Japanese releases of Slifer, all in chronological order. Uh, I'm going to show you what those cards looked like, uh, when those release dates were, what the PSA pops are. This is not an easy video to make because even the official Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! databases aren't accurate for early cards like this. So I'm going to do this for collectors like myself, and I hope you find this info useful. Here we go. Now, I haven't looked at this card yet, so you're doing this with me, guys. Let's hope it's in good condition. bring in here so far so good a little free card there that's nice of them to send that very cool a little e hero all right let's check out what we have here a lot of these cards from japan come in these side loader uh top loaders if that makes sense okay cool sleeve extra points for that Okay. Here we go. How are we looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, you will notice there are a couple light scratches. I'm seeing scratching here. Right there, you see that? A little silvering going through and then light scratching up top here on the car to bring you in a little closer. Yeah. Oh, it has a little bit of a dent there too. No. Ay, yeah, yeah. All right. Back. Ah, oh, it's scratched up on the back as well, boys. That is unfortunate. Scratched. A little bit of a dent going on there. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Okay, that is not as described, unfortunately. Okay, so like I said, this is the first Slifer. It's a secret rare promo, which you might have guessed by the not for sale text right there and this was released on december 7th 2000 inside of the japanese duel monsters 4 battle of great duelist yami deck game uh, it was a game boy color game there was also a kaiba and joey version of this game which would determine which god card you'd get by the way each game would have a silver promo pack inside with four cards in it where one of the four would be the Slifer in the Yugi version, and the remaining three would be from this list uh, for the Yugi version. The PSA pop for one of these Slifers is 246 total with 88 tens. So, fairly low pop, to be honest with you. The next Slifer release would be April 17th, 2003, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters International Worldwide Edition, a Japanese Game Boy Advance game. And even though this was a Japanese game, the God cards were all in English text. The first edition of the game included secret rare versions of each God card, so you'd get all three, while the later editions contained ultra rares of each God card, which is why you'll see cards with the same card numbers in different rarities for these. By the way, the ultra rares are probably the most counterfeited Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever, so be very careful when buying those raw, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh tube, has a great video showing you how to tell if those are counterfeits. The PSA pop report for a secret rare slifer is 402 with 204 tens, so significantly less rare than the one we have here. The next released on November 23rd, 2004 as a promo inside of the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie Annie Manga, where the English version of the book included a secret rare English slifer. The PSA pop is 241 with 45 tens. Next up would release on October 5th, 2010 for North America in the Legendary Collection, which included a binder, six promotional cards, and a number of booster packs. 
Slifer was, of course, one of the promos along with the other gods in Ultra Rare. The PSA pop for Slifer is 292 with 137 tens. Next would be Japanese V Jump February 2012 appendix card. But it officially released not in 2012, but December 17th, 2011, uh, according to Konami. So all the PSA slabs have the incorrect year on them, by the way. This card was, of course, in Japanese, but featured a totally new picture of Slifer and was an ultra rare. PSA Pop 41 with 28 tens. Coming to the sixth release between these two languages, August 27th. 2012, we saw an English version ultra rare released as the Shonen Jump Alpha membership promo card. The PSA pop was 65 with 28 tens currently. The seventh release would be on June 28, 2013 in English with Battle Pack 2, War of the Giants, where Slifer would be a mosaic rare. Mosaic rares don't have the ultra rare hollow pattern behind the monsters but just sort of have some random blocks in hollow on top of the card. Uh, if that makes sense, I'll try to find a picture for you. The PSA pop is nine with five tens, but that's probably low because it's not the most desirable slifer, to be honest. The eighth release would be in Japanese on January 11th, 2014, with Gold Series 2014, where slifer would be a gold secret rare. Very, very cool looking card. PSA pop 46 with 36 tens. The ninth release would be in Japan on March 8th, 2014 in Memories of the Duel King, Duelist Kingdom Arc, where Slifer would be an ultra rare. Interestingly though, Slifer wouldn't have a card number, which is very strange considering that usually only happened with 1998 to 1999 Konami cards. Uh, there are only 18 graded with PSA and nine of those are tens. The 10th release would be in English on March 28th, 2014 with Premium Gold, where Slifer would be in a gold secret rare as well. PSA Pop 65 with 35 tens. As a bonus for you Millennium Rare fans, the 11th release would be in Japanese on January 10th, 2015, where Slifer would be released as both a Millennium Rare and a secret rare in Duelist Road, Piece of Memory Side Yami Yugi. Now, the PSA report doesn't appear to have any Millennium Rare Slifers on it at this time, even though it does for uh, the Winged Dragon of Ra. But there are secrets on it uh, for Slifer with a pop of 15 with 8 tens. All right, guys, that's the first 11 Slifer releases between Japanese and English versions. I hope you learned something here today, and I better see you at the table next time. Ciao, mi familia.